Hey y'all, I'm EJ, you're you, and welcome to my channel. Spring? Now mama, she's sprung. Well, almost. On February 25th, snow officially melts in Animal Crossing, bringing grayish green grass that will eventually turn into a lush green landscape that many of us have sorely missed. So I'm here to get you out of that igloo and into this cabana with five spring small areas. And if this video leaves you inspired, why not just go ahead and pummel that subscribe button for more content. All right, let's spring into it. Get it? Huh? Huh? All right, so for this spring idea video, I decided to do an extra little challenge with the inspiration. Um, so all of the ideas that you're gonna see in this video are going to be using this basic blue uh, footprint that you see with the five trees and the shrubs. Now that said, let's get into our first idea, a berry farm. So this idea was inspired by the incomparable Zara Crossing on Instagram, who you guys need to check out. They have some awesome, awesome builds up. And the minute I saw this, I was like, oh, oh, I need this. So first thing I'm doing was laying down some pads. I started with alternating dark dirt and um, sand uh, because I thought that sand would be clever and like freeze the flowers in their growth states like they do on the beach, but they don't. So, you know. Um, and then the next thing I did was I put down some flowers and these are blue hyacinths that I ran through. And don't they just look like blueberries? Sorry, blueberries. <laughs> I know why I said it that way. Um, but don't they just look like them? I feel like they are such a great illusion. Um, and then I put some shrubs in between on the dark dirt path. Now, I think the shrubs are really important to sell the kind of like berry bush feel of this. And I wanted to alternate them with the uh, barbed wire fence because I think it just added a little bit of interest and it looked pretty cute. Now, the one downside to this build is that the uh, berries, to make the berries work, um, you have to kind of run through them every day, basically. Um, basically, anytime you want to show it off, you need to run through them, um, which can actually be pretty fun, but can also, I can understand why that would be, um, you know, frustrating. But honestly, like, I think it looks really good. So, you know, I think it's worth it. Now in this build, I am using um, the blue hyacinths, not blue hyacinths, blue windflowers uh, to be blueberries. And look at how it looks. Now, if you wanted to do with strawberries, which is actually what Zara Crossing did in the original post, um, you can use red cosmos, or sorry, red pansies that you've run over. And I think they look so good. And I think it looks even better if you just go ahead and combine the two and do a few rows, do some with the red cosmo pansies <laughs> and one with the blue windflowers. And it looks like you have a little berry farm. So you can have like a mixed berry uh, yogurt or something like that. Why am I saying words so weird today? I don't know. I swear to God, I don't usually do this. Anyways, but yeah, so that's the first area and I love it. I am in love with this. I definitely like, it doesn't really fit with my jungle theme, but good Lord, I want to use this on my island. So you guys have to do it for me because I did take it apart. Now, this next idea is by no means new or revolutionary, and that is a soccer field but I really love it. And the build style itself was inspired by Rosie Horizons, who actually has a YouTube channel that you must check out, although I did see this on her Instagram. Now, I took some in additional inspiration from my days as a sporty young gay playing soccer, or I guess like football, if you're across the pond. Um, and I wanted to include some or elements from basically like, you know, those games you played when you were like 10, way back when, and uh, you know, you have the log benches and stuff. So I used some log benches. I put an infused water dispenser there as well, just as a fun little like, you know, refresh thing. And then I put out some chairs, like you're, they, there's families watching the soccer game or whatever. So there's like a picnic moment. And then I just put some weeds around. Um, and I put these wind turbines in the back to add some, you know, depth and movement and stuff. And 
there it is. It's super simple, but I think it is so cute. And now Rosie Horizons originally in her post, and that was the one that inspired this, also had some custom paths that uh, mimic the lines on a soccer field. And those are a great thing that you could do, but I wanted to keep the uh, custom path load kind of down for this build. Um, and I think it looks really good without it. So there you go, soccer field. Now, one thing that I've always like low key liked about spring is spring cleaning, which is probably because I'm type A, but stand by, I stand by my choices. So this next area is a spring cleaning area, and it's something that I think would look great in front of your villager houses or your own house, whichever. Um, and the cool thing about this is that this is actually a great place to use some of the furniture that doesn't fit in your storage, which is a problem that I've been having. Um, and it's just a great place to use any other like piece of furniture that you're not really sure where to fit in on your island theme. Um, now I put out some boxes. I put a kimono stand out like you're airing out. I, I thought it kind of looked like a rug. So it's almost like you're airing out a rug. I have some laundry going up. You know, the idea is it's kind of it's not like a yard sale, but it is still like, you know, spring cleaning. So there's a lawn chair out here. I have this custom pattern um, gingham picnic blanket, which you will see in a few builds um, just because I think it's like a perfect spring blanket. Um, and then I have some, you know, iron stands, all that good stuff. Now, if you do like this uh, blanket, all of this, um, the custom design patterns that you'll see in this video are going to be listed in the description of this video. So check it out there if you want to get those codes and get those patterns. And here it is. Here's spring cleaning. I think it's so cute. This area is, again, a very simple area, but I think super effective and super malleable for any small area that you have on your island. I think this would especially look good in front of like a person, one of your players' houses. And this seems like very spring to me in like a really fun way. And you know, it's also a great way to incorporate a garbage can into your island, which are always very helpful to have. So, you know, check it out. So the fourth area that we're gonna be doing is really inspired by me not leaving my house um, and wanting to. And that is a beer garden, or just like an outdoor bar in general, but like beer garden was definitely like the impetus for this. Now this is probably gonna be the most custom design heavy design that you see today, but uh, you know, stick with it. I think it's worth it. So the first thing I'm doing is just laying down path and I'm using the alternating like stone path and arched stone path <laughs> because I think it makes this cute little cobblestone moment. And I also think it's a great way to kind of achieve that very like the path-esque fading away effect. Um, and then I'm using these ivy, these simple panels that are customized first to look like brick and ivy and then to look like um, a little shelf with bottles and things on it. The next thing I'm doing, I'm using kind of the wooden bookshelf to add a little bit more space. Again, this I'm not trying to make a illusion, like a billion illusion or anything like that. I think it adds a nice <clears throat> verticality to everything, if you will. And then of course I have a stool. And these are really inspired by like a lot of just beer gardens that I would go to out in Brooklyn, like back when we could actually go places. And I really liked I really like drinking outside. <laughs> it's just like a fun thing to do. So that was really a lot of the inspiration behind this. Now we wanted this to feel almost like it's like a brewery and you're out there. And so there's lots of barrels. I have some pirate barrels, like the sideways ones. I've got the barrels as um, like the seats or not the seats, uh, the tables, the tables that you would be drinking at. Um, and I have lots of these wooden stools and I really fell into this like green and dark brown aesthetic for this build, which I'm not mad about. I really like it, actually. Now, uh, one thing that occurred to me, actually, as I was editing this was that this would actually be a great place to use a lot of that St. Patrick's Day furniture that's about to be released as a part of the next update. Um, obviously, I don't have that now because the update isn't out. But once you do, I think it would be a great option for this area. And here we go. Here it is. Now, you can see I also added a serving cart with some Berliners. Um, just because I thought, you know, like, Biergarten, Berliner, it's, it's German. Um, 
And yeah, I think this is just like a super cute area. This would be great for any kind of small town or city or any kind of, I think this is really malleable for a bunch of different aesthetics. So there you go. Yeah, I got it. Get drunk, don't get drunk. Yeah, listen y'all, this next area, I am fully aware is not revolutionary. I know, but what screams spring more than a flower field? And so here, I'm gonna show you some tips that I have that I like when I'm designing a flower field. Like these are all over Instagram. You can easily find inspiration for these, but I just wanted to show you my own. Now, one thing that I've noticed that I personally don't really like about flower fields is that they can feel very flat because, you know, it's just a, a, a field of flowers. Um, and so one thing to kind of break up all the flowers, but still make it feel really natural and beautiful and fieldy um, is I'm putting in a waterfall moment with like a little, little, little brook. Now, obviously this is just a suggestion there. If this were a full area, I'd probably build out that cliff more to make it more of a moment. But for the purposes of this video, you get the idea. And before this, you also saw that I put down that lovely gingham picnic blanket uh, pattern that I had before in the uh, spring cleaning area. Um, and I also customized a beach towel to be the same pattern as the blanket so you can have like a cute little laying down moment. And now we're onto the flowers. Now I recommend that you use basically the same color flower, but different breeds because the different breeds of flowers are gonna give like cute little different texture variety to your flower field um, and make it look dynamic while also being cohesive. And then of course I put these lovely wind turbines in the back. I love the wind turbines. I just feel like they are so cool and <clears throat> dynamic and they add a lovely sense of, say it with me now, verticality. But there we go. I mean, I, listen, they're a staple of the spring island, but I love them. Look at how idyllic I look. Don't you want that on your island? Don't you want to be idyllic on your island? Of course you do. It's spring. Get on it. Let's go. All right. So those are my five ideas just to get you started thinking in that spring mindset, all that kind of stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and also let me know what kind of like spring ideas you guys have. Um, and if you made it through this video, comment below with your favorite flower in Animal Crossing New Horizons to let me know that you watched through. And finally, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to see, you know, the next video. And speaking of my next video, I will see y'all then. Okay, bye.